up guys? Today I'm gonna to be showcasing some of the pieces that I hand embroidered on, as well as how to do it yourself. And all it takes is some time, some dedication, and composition skills. So right off the bat, you can do it on snapbacks, trucker hats, just looking for a thin material that you can poke a needle through. You can do it on flannels. So here I did it on a blue plaid flannel that I made a while back. Just some different color splatter on there. You can do it on your trousers. These are some British military vintage pants. And um, yeah, I decided to go with a similar color palette, splatches all down the leg. And then once again, another pair of military pants. This one's like Swedish military, I believe. This one I went for a really like diverse array of colors. Almost looks like Fruity Loops. Uh, once again, on a snapback, this one's like super minimal. I wanted to make it look like blood stains and come out with like a classic faded vintage crew neck. I think this is Russell. You can do it on Russell, Champion, any crew neck. Pick the color that you're going to be working with. Today, I'm going to be using this nice um, teal blue. And then I will cut it up however much I want to use. There's a bit about six individual strings in here. What you're going to want to do is split it in half, giving you three and three, each three strings. Put one to the side and save it for later. With this one, we're going to thread it through the needle here. Whew. Finally, we did it, boys and gals. And then at the end here, all you gotta do is tie a little knot. So I'll show you like this. You wanna save as much thread as possible. So, boom, we have a knot. And you can cut the end not too close to the knot. There you go. Go on the opposite side. So all the ugly thread or not ugly, depends on your perspective and see where you want to start. I don't, I like to eyeball it. I don't want to get too specific. So I see that, you know, somewhere like um, here could use some blue. So I'll stick my needle through and uh, start adding some sewing. So goes under, then up, under, up, under, up. I found that I put the spacing too wide there, so I'm going back in and filling in some areas that um, are too wide, too loose. If you're satisfied with what you have, then you tie a knot again in the back. I'll show you how to do that now. Goes one around, two around. And there you have it, a knot. Make sure it's nice and tight. Take your scissors, cut close to the knot. Your pattern's done. 
this will last in the wash. Don't worry about it falling off or anything like that. As long as you tie your knots tight enough, 